All right. Hello, everybody. This is RDs versus BS, the podcast. This is our YouTube channel where we take the time to break down some of the supplements that we talk about in our podcast. And we break down the supplement labels because we don't have time on the podcast. And I think that some people are interested in knowing more about, you know, what is in supplements and whether or not it's worth their money. So yeah. All right. You ready to get into today, Emily? Oh, I am so ready. So um, this is tied to our Beachbody podcast episode where um, we talk about Shakeology, which is their protein powder. And that's a separate YouTube show um, on our channel. And then now we're going to talk about the Ultimate Reset Shakeology Challenge Pack. So this includes Shakeology, but also six other supplements that we really wanted to dive into um, because they really suggest, especially if you're doing their 21 day fix, that you buy this challenge pack and take all of these different supplements. So we wanted to go through each and every one. We are doing this blind, so we haven't looked at these actual supplements yet. So we're just going to go with it. All right. So this ultimate reset Shakeology challenge pack. Um, I know on the podcast, we said that it was on sale. It could be yours for $225 or something like that. Well, the sale's over because it's now on the <laughs> website it says 275. So you missed your chance, but um, $275 for supplements for this challenge that you're going to do for 21 days. So that's, pretty pricey. So we wanted to look into each one of these supplements and really see, okay, what is it about these? What's in them? Is it worth taking? Is it worth your money? Is it going to do anything? And then individually give each one the BS stamp or not, which is our favorite part. So Marie, do you want to start with the first one with power greens? Yeah. So real quick, I'm just going to go through all of them. So they have a power greens. Yeah. They have a soothe, they have revitalize, mineralize, detox, and optimize. And you know what's so funny is besides the power greens, all of the rest of the names kind of sound like a skincare line. <laughs> now that I'm looking at them. Ooh. And they, I mean, looking at them too, they just look like little tubs of cream that you'd like open yeah. up <laughs> on your face. Um Lots of like buzzwords in here. You know, all of this stuff is things people want. Like Emily said, we, the, the Shakeology is technically part of this pack. And we took time to do a separate video just on Shakeology. Um, Cause that was a whole lot to dive into on its own. So you can look out for that video, but I'm going to go ahead and start with power greens, which just by its name, I would assume is some sort of green powder. Um, but the claim on the supplement pack is a healthy diet with plenty of greens may help support the body's acid slash alkaline balance. Sneak peek into the future. Uh, we actually decided that our next YouTube or excuse me, our next, uh, podcast is going to be on the acid based diet, which is exciting. So they're basically making a claim here that you need to make sure you get your greens to make sure that your body's acid and base is in balance. So what do they have in here? They've got chorella powder, spinach powder, cucumber powder, celery powder, kale, and matcha green tea powder. And all this is just combined into what they call their proprietary green blend. So if you watched our Shakeology video, you know that a proprietary blend basically means that they don't have to tell you the amount of each individual ingredient that's within the blend. So right off the bat, we don't know how much of each of these things are in there, but we know that the total is only five grams. And I just like disregarding the acid base claim for right now, we're gonna, I'm gonna put that on the table for just a second or put that on the shelf. Why not just take a handful of spinach? and throw it into a smoothie, right? I'm assuming you're supposed to put this like in your shake or something. Right. You, they're giving you such a tiny amount that you could easily get by just eating a serving of vegetables, of any of these vegetables, kale, spinach, very popular things to just throw into a shake. Um, just eating cucumber, 
for a greens powder, it actually has way less ingredients and way less vegetable powders than I normally see. Not that I'm saying that they're necessary, yeah. but it just seems like a really sad <laughs> greens powder. I don't know. There's also matcha in here, which is funny because yes, it's green, but that's, it's not really a leafy green. It's more of, you know, it's a, a strong green tea. So I'm not really sure where that plays in here, but there can't be that much because there is no, doesn't say anywhere that there's any caffeine in it. So yeah, who knows? Oh man. I don't want to like totally give away next week's podcast, but you cannot change the acid or base of any part of your body based off of what you eat. Let me just cap it at that. And if you want to learn more, listen to our next podcast. We get super into it. But yeah. that claim is total, total BS. This like five gram powder of very common leafy greens is not going to do anything for your body's acid base. Um, and you're just better off eating a serving of vegetables because you can get the exact same thing, if not more, because you're eating the whole plant versus processing it down to a powder and taking out a lot of like fiber and minerals and antioxidants and all that good stuff. Um, and again, we don't know how much of each one of these individual things is in this specific green powder. So that is my take on the power greens. Super unnecessary. Yeah. And um, I like that you said, you know, the alternative, because we always like to give alternatives. Alternative for this, handful of greens. Easy. Done. Yes. BS stamp or not, Marie. Oh, for sure. Especially since they try and bring up the acid base. If they had just yeah. said, oh, this is, you know, powdered greens. If you're someone that doesn't like to eat vegetables, I'd be like, fine. It doesn't seem like you put a lot of greens in here, but whatever. But since they're trying to be like, oh, change your body acid base. No. Yeah. Pass. BS stamp. BS stamp. Bye, Power Greens. Moving on. Um, so I'm going to talk about Soothe. So let's get into this. Ooh. What are they saying Soothe is going to do for you? Um, ingredients traditionally used to support digestive health and the body's response to oxidative stress. Okay, so this, I see digestive health. I haven't even looked at the supplement facts yet, and I'm thinking there's gonna be fiber, there's gonna be prebiotics, probiotics. Those are things that truly do support digestive health. So let's get into it. And there's none of any of that. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was looking at it while you're saying that. I was like, and there's none of that. None of it. <laughs> so, um, there is aloe vera powder. So like that plant aloe that you, you'll put on your skin when, um, when you get a sunburn, very soothing. Um, and then there is turmeric extract. Okay. So first off, neither of those things have anything with to do with supporting digestive health. I've seen research on aloe vera powder and just aloe vera in general. And yes, it does have soothing properties on the skin, but they haven't found anything, at least with the powder, that when you ingest it, that it soothes anything or has anything to do with the digestive system. I can't really say that any of this is going to help with what they claim. Um, Marie, do you know the amount of turmeric needed in a that's like the efficacious dose me so efficacious for anyone who doesn't know means what's been studied to really have an effect in the body um here two capsules one serving has 210 milligrams um i have a feeling that the efficacious dose for turmeric is a little bit more do you know marie yeah, so the studies that I've seen on this, the minimum that has been shown to be helpful is 500 milligrams. So this is providing about half of that. It does seem that 210 milligrams is probably too low to have any sort of um, anti-inflammatory or pain management effect. But yeah. um, I do think that the research with turmeric is pretty new. So um, I don't know if that's like a hard and fast amount, but that's what I've seen is 500 yeah. milligrams. Okay. So not enough, even if it is going to be, you know, 
supporting those claims there. Um, so BS stamp, like absolutely, just from the start, because if you're going to tell me that this is supporting digestive health and it doesn't have the two things that actually support digestive health, which is probiotics and fiber, um, I'm out. So yeah, BS stamp on this one. And, you know, for a alternative, I mean, if we're going the digestive health route, like I just said, eating more fiber, eating probiotics. So fiber is in things like whole grains, fruits, vegetables, eat enough of that. Um, probiotics, eat some yogurt, kombucha, kefir, sauerkraut. Those things have probiotics in them that may help with digestive health. And as far as oxidative stress goes, what can really help with that is antioxidants. So again, eating a lot of berries, things that have antioxidants in them. I don't really have a go-to supplement that can be an alternative for this, but there are plenty of foods you can eat if digestive health or you know reducing oxidative stress is your goal. And also there are turmeric supplements that you can buy. Um, right. If, if you're, and you know, those are in 500 milligram doses that I've seen. So if you are wanting to try turmeric for either pain management, or if you have arthritis or something like that, um, and you know, you wanted to try that route, just get a turmeric supplement for a lot less money. Yeah. That'd be way less expensive. Yes. So that's true. If you are going to go that route, at least 500 milligrams at a time. Yes. So moving on, Marie, talk to us about Revitalize. <laughs> okay, this is so funny, Emily. This is so funny. So, right, the, the supplement that we just reviewed is saying it's going to soothe your digestive tract. It's going to be beneficial for your dige digestive health. That is a hard word to say, digestive. Di it digestive. Is. It is. <laughs> I this agree. Revitalize. Which again, sounds just like a cream I should be putting under my eyes to revitalize myself. It says, help support beneficial flora in the digestive tract. So this is their probiotic. Why would they not put this in the digestive supplement? Why do they have- they'd only have five supplements instead of six. That's true, that's true. Okay, so um, yeah, like Emily was saying, we, we typically, see in a digestive supplement is some sort of probiotic and prebiotic, which is essentially what this is. So um, a probiotic is just the bacteria that, um, you know, every single person has millions and millions and millions of bacteria that live in their gut. They help you break down food. They help that whole digestive process go smoothly. There's a bunch of other benefits that we're just now starting to find out and research between the bacteria in your gut and the human cells. And it's all super fascinating, um, which I think is why there's been such a boom for these probiotic supplements and probiotic foods. Um, so let's see, the, the two ingredients in here are, well, it's a proprietary blend. So again, we don't know how much of each one of these things are in it. It's one gram total and it's uh, bacillus, which is the bacteria, and inulin, which is the prebiotic, which is basically the food that the bacteria is gonna eat. So the prebiotic feeds the probiotic, which then flourishes in your gut and keep, helps keep you healthy. So, I mean, that's all it is. It's basically, this is super standard of what you would see in a probiotic. I mean, I don't know. I think like, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just kind of a standard probiotic. Right. That you don't need to get from Beachbody because you can literally get it from anywhere. You, you know? can buy this. If you're not eating food that has probiotics in it already. Yeah. You can buy like basically this exact same supplement at the grocery store. $10, $15. Again, just think of the price per supplement if this whole pack is 275. That's a ridiculous price for something that you can find very easily that is like literally ingredient for ingredient this exact same thing. So I guess I don't call BS on it. It's just, just a super expensive form of something that's super easy to find. Mm -hmm. 
I do also like, I really want quickly want to backtrack and just say that, you know, we have been talking a lot about probiotics and where you can find them, but if it's not something that you're getting in your diet, but you have normal, healthy digestion, you probably don't need it. So Mm -hmm. there's this really big trend right now of supplementing this stuff, because like I said, there is a bunch of research coming out right now about how important that, that balance between, you know, the gut bacteria and human health is. But for a lot of people, they already have a super healthy gut bacteria population. And so you actually don't need to like really supplement anything. If you're having normal digestion, if you're having normal bowel movements, if you're having, if you're not having any issues there, it's not even really something you have to supplement. Yes. No need to complicate these things. And a lot of times these supplement packs like this make you think, oh gosh, I do need all these things because I'm not getting it all. But yeah. So that one didn't get the BS stamp. Interesting. So we're uh, two for three with the BS stamp. So on to number four. So this one is called Mineralize. So I'm looking at it. It says adds natural minerals needed by the body. Okay. So I'm picturing like a multivitamin that just has minerals in it. Uh, Maybe without the vitamins. I don't know. Emily, are you seeing my face right now? (laughs) Yes, and I can't wait. I'm Please like, scroll no, down. Okay. Please scroll down. I'm so okay. excited for you to see what's in this. Serving size, half a gram, 84 servings per, per container. It is literally just sodium. Did you That's read the ingredients? Pink Himalayan salt. <laughs> That's all it is. Literally all it is. And it's not even that much sodium. It's 160 milligrams which is 7% of what you need in a day. This is literally just liquid. Is it liquid? No, I think it's literally packets of oh. Himalayan salt. Oh my gosh, you're so right. It's it's actually just salt. Yes. I was picturing it in some kind of like liquid, like condensed form, but it is actually just salt that they're turning into this like mineralized supplement that you have to take every day. Um, You're supposed to shake 10 to 30 times into 12 to 36 ounces of distilled water. Yeah, Um, because God forbid we have any minerals in our water because we want to add our minerals to it. Yes, distilling literally means taking out all the stuff, aka minerals. So let's buy distilled water instead of just using our tap water and then add more minerals to it. I, my mind is blown. Yes. I have never seen a more ridiculously packaged supplement in my life. I'm not even kidding. It's literally just salt. This is so funny because, you know, we talk about replacements. And then in that last supplement, I was like, you can literally go to the grocery store and just buy a probiotic for super cheap. You can buy pink Himalayan salt shakers, like giant ones. I have one from like Sam's or Costco and I think it was like $4 and that thing has lasted me for years. And in the way that they describe it, I'm imagining like fish food that you're like shaking. Literally 30 times in your water. I'm sure that tastes great. Oh my Um, God. And who just drinks salt water? Yeah. Also, who needs, who needs this? Who needs this? We get salt in our body. Like we get salt in our diet. There's plenty of salt. It's most people. It's like a more salt is not the issue. Um, And pink Himalayan salt. Like, I know there's arguments that, oh, well, it's pink, so it has some, like, trace amounts of minerals that we don't normally get. But, like, no, it's salt. Like, it's sodium. It's That's what's on the supplements facts here. It's sodium. It's just salt. Yeah, I mean, technically, just table salt is just sodium, and that's it. But pink Himalayan salt has some extra, um, like you said, trace amounts of other minerals. But... It's not like those minerals you can't find anywhere else. I mean, (laughs) any food, like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, any sort of animal product. So meat and even like butter, like animal byproducts, Mm -hmm. dairy, all that kind of stuff has, is enriched with minerals. Like you don't have to get those minerals from pink Himalayan salt. And it's like you said, it's trace amounts and it's inconsistent so funny. I know. I've I cannot never... believe that they sell this. I know. 
I'm and, shocked. And then, where people are buying into this, thinking that this is something they need to have in their life. And it's just so deceiving. And I've never had to think less about a BS stamp. Like, yes, this yes. Is BS to the max. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Alternatives. Go to your nearest grocery store. If you like pink Himalayan salt because it looks pretty like we do, <laughs> buy it for $5. Or literally just buy any salt and just use it because it's, this isn't something that is even an issue. They're not even solving a problem here. Yeah. Like, nobody is like, I am not getting enough salt. I need to get this. Like, yeah. Done. BS. Yes. That's crazy. I'm. My mind will be blown with that one for a while. <sighs> okay. I guess we should move on. Okay. We're on, okay. we're on to detox. detox. Ooh, already. Oh, love that love word. That. We love that word. Okay. Detox can usually go one of two ways. It's either a laxative or it's they're just giving you a bunch of minerals. So we'll see which route they take. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So key ingredients traditionally used to help support the body's natural detoxification process and healthy liver function. Love okay, that. so I think they might be going the mineral route, which is good. So we at least are not pooping ourselves, but we'll, we'll find out here in a second. <laughs> okay, the ingredients are, so they have another proprietary blend. So again, we don't know how much of these, each one of these things are in it. Chia seed, flax seed, astragalus extract, um, which is part of a root. Let's see, a bunch of roots actually. Burdock root. Oh, we have more turmeric and ginger. Okay, no supplement is going to, quote, detox you. Um, you can definitely have a, a diet that supports your liver and kidneys. And what I mean by that is you're just giving it the vitamins and minerals and calories and protein and whatever else, you know, your body needs to, like, have functioning organs. But outside of that, there's really nothing that you can do to, like, promote healthy liver or promote healthy kidneys, right? It's either your organs work or they don't. Drinking excessive amounts of alcohol is going to hurt your liver, but there's really nothing that you can take that's going to help other than just getting enough of the things that your body needs, um, if that kind of makes sense. So, I mean, looking at the things that they, they put in here, it's a bunch of fiber, basically. Well, it's not even that much. It's 1.5 total grams, but a bunch of fiber foods, so chia, flax, a bunch of roots, and then they've got the turmeric, which we've already talked about is anti-inflammatory. But again, we don't know how much of the turmeric is actually in that blend. So we can't say if it's at the efficacious dose or not. And then ginger, you know, potentially can help with stomach upset. But again, there's nothing here that is going to help. I mean, there's not even like minerals in here. Sometimes I see like magnesium supplements for detox or liver support just because there's a ton of chemical reactions that happen in your liver and magnesium is needed in a lot of those reactions. So sometimes I'll see that or like vitamin B, but I'm not even seeing any of that. This is like just a really, really, really tiny amount of seeds, roots, ginger, and turmeric. And I don't know how that is supposed to detox you or support your natural detoxification. Right. I completely agree. This one's just kind of confusing to me. And again, there's not really any compound or like food that is going to be good for your liver. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, again, it's just like looking at a holistic view of your diet. Are you eating enough? Are you eating enough calories to maintain your, your organs properly? Are you avoiding things that are harmful. It's more that it's more avoidance of things that are harmful to your, your liver and kidneys, like avoiding excessive alcohol. This is BS. It's not going to do anything. Again, if you want the, the anti-inflammatory effects of turmeric, just buy a turmeric supplement. If you want if ginger helps settle your stomach, you can buy ginger tea for like two bucks. You can probably buy a ginger supplement. Um, if you feel like that helps with stomach upset, which again, has nothing to do with your liver. Um, and I mean, chia and flax seeds, roots, great, great for fiber. 
eat the whole food so you're actually getting good amounts of fiber from that though right. not yeah. just 1.5 grams also rely on your liver and kidneys like know that detox anything that says detox in it like it's bs just straight up like it's bs you don't need to eat something else to be detoxed oh you know what emily i'm seeing here because this is like right above the proprietary blend that there is milk thistle extract in here oh what do you know about that so okay i'm not gonna pretend like i'm an expert on this but this is sort of like an adaptogen which um we talked about in our shakeology video so basically it's a traditional medicine so it's It's been used as like a natural remedy for stuff like cirrhosis of the liver. But again, this is not something that's been clinically proven to have any effect from what I understand. If you have cirrhosis of the liver or if you have hepatitis, it's super important to get medication to treat those because Mm -hmm. we have medications. I mean, those are serious conditions, right? You need medications to treat those because again, we don't have clinical data to show that milk thistle extract is going to be helpful. So don't rely on this supplement if you do already have liver damage. And not to like keep beating a dead horse, but you can't take one specific thing to support your liver. Just treat your body well, generally, Get give it what it needs, Avoid, again, cirrhosis typically is going to come from like alcoholism, right? It's it's more avoid things that are going to be super damaging than it is take a bunch of supplements to support yourself. It, there's no such thing. So I did miss that earlier, though. I guess that makes a little bit more sense why it's a liver, why they're calling this a liver supplement, but right. still BS. alternatives no i mean yeah no there's like the best alternative to this is like just take take care of yourself don't get yourself into a hole where you have liver damage right that's my advice and if you do if you do go to the doctor and get medication right don't rely on milk thistle exactly all right what do we got next hey this is our last one oh sad i know we've had so much fun (laughs) Um, okay. Optimize. So this one supports nutrient absorption and bioavailability. Ooh, I should have given this one to Marie. She loves things like this. Okay. But I'll take it anyway. Okay. So this one is a proprietary blend of a bunch of different enzymes and some other fruits like camu camu that we saw in Shakeology. So the main thing with this one, with Optimize, is that it is an enzyme blend. So what it is, is two capsules. You take it, oh, it says three times a day, 30 minutes before meals. We've said this before, if you've ever listened to one of our podcasts or another YouTube episode, but your body makes enzymes. Like you make all these enzymes in your body and you know, if you don't make one of these mentioned enzymes, then you're going to have some issues. And that's when a doctor would specifically prescribe, like, you need to take this enzyme because your body doesn't make it. Um, adding more of these enzymes on top of, you know, your body already making them doesn't mean that you're going to have, you know, better digestion. There's just nothing showing that. Those are my thoughts on enzyme blends. They're not really necessary. It's it's just an enzyme blend, which you can buy from the store, but I wouldn't suggest doing it because if you have true like enzyme deficiencies, you would know because something would be very wrong and your doctor would prescribe you specific enzymes. Marie, do you have any thoughts on this one besides what I've already gone over? No, I think you covered it all. Yeah. yeah. This is like super unnecessary. And I didn't mention this with the probiotics or the greens, but right. So you're supposed to buy this whole pack and Shakeology is part of that. There's also an enzyme blend in Shakeology. All three of those blends are in their protein powder too. So not only are they super unnecessary, you're getting them more than once in this whole packet of stuff that you're supposed to take. 
a light bulb just like went off in my head. So you're going to take these two capsules of this proprietary enzyme blend a half hour before you drink Shakeology that already has most of these in it. And yeah, like you were saying with the other ones too, it already has probiotics in it. So like, I think what they're doing is a lot of people think that if something is good, then more has to be better. So yes, it's all pretty much all of this is in Shakeology. But if I continually take all these capsules and salt and all this stuff throughout the day, that it's going to be even better. And that's just not true. Wow. That's so true. Now that I just like step back and looked at the big picture here. They're just breaking down what they have in Shakeology into specific supplements. Yeah, and charging you two seventy five instead oh. of one twenty five for the Don't Shakeology. Don't love that. Don't love that. <laughs> um, yeah, BS stamp on this one just because enzyme blends are not necessary. Necessary, and um, I don't really have an alternative because enzyme blends are not necessary. Like. Okay, so, I mean, looking back over all of it, we had five BS stamps. Yeah, five out of six got the BS stamp. So, overall, not looking too good (laughs) for this expensive supplement pack. But it is, you know, it is fun to look through and see what's actually in these things, try to figure out, okay, where are they coming from? Where are they getting at? And we hope the alternatives were helpful as well because we do recognize that if you're listening to this, you're interested in health. You probably want to get healthier. You want to, you know, figure out ways to do it. We don't just want to say all this stuff is BS. So that's why we like to give alternatives and say, try this instead. This is what research actually shows to work for these different things. Yeah, for sure. And I think when someone is selling you a supplement pack specifically, like it's one thing to sell a supplement, but a supplement pack I think can just be so overwhelming for someone Mm -hmm. that doesn't know how to look at the ingredients and break it down and what it even means. And you've got someone really aggressively selling you this and being like, you need this for your health. You need this for your health. You know, it's, it's hard to know what is true and what is BS. So I like kind of, I like breaking down individual supplements, but also just, I mean, think about what we essentially just said. This supplement pack boils down to a protein powder, which you can get for super cheap. And again, if you want alternatives for the Shakeology, watch our Shakeology video. And the only one that was even worthwhile at all was the probiotic, which you can also get for super cheap. So you're essentially getting two legitimate items for almost $300 that you could purchase from way more servings for probably 40 bucks total. So right. that's, yeah, yeah. that's nothing why we do special. this. Right. There's nothing special in here that makes it worth that money is yeah. what we're saying. Yeah. Right. So yeah, keep an eye out for our alkaline acid diet podcast coming up because um, I know a lot of people ask me about, oh, should I be drinking the, you know, alkaline waters and this and that. So um, that is coming out soon. And until then, stay healthy out there and we'll see you next time.